This programme contains strong language and sexual references throughout. Fucking hell, I spoke to Charlie and he fucking went at me for four days. So I didn't make him worry. I said sorry twice. And I I've sat lying. down next to her, she told me to fuck no, off. You and she's still continuing. Said, sorry, I you said haven't. sorry, it's on camera. I said sorry twice. But I did honestly say to her, look, I'm gonna say sorry to you to make you feel better, but I, I don't actually feel like I'd done anything wrong. So what you're doing, you're saying you're comparing a situation when I had a mental breakdown, everyone knew how low I was I on didn't my son's say birthday. I was comparing no, no, but, the two. No, you did, you did. Because no, I said did I'm she not just compare the, the two situations? I compared what you used. You said that you didn't that, feel like a priority. priority. I'm saying I'm comparing that, I'm not comparing okay, the two situations. You're saying you didn't feel like a priority, but what I'm saying. But look how you reacted okay, when what, it was what, you. What, because, I'm not even getting at you like that no, because, for four days. So she is going, so from that, you know she's comparing the situation, yeah? But I'm a very old school person. I don't even know, I didn't even know up to this point what an open relationship was. So it's like, I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. I don't know the politics. I don't know the rules that they've got set up for themselves there. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's just not working out. If you're not sorry, don't be sorry. That's fine, but don't give me a fake sorry. apology. I've already said no, sorry. No, but you've just said you ain't sorry. You ain't done nothing wrong. Five times don't now. give me a fake apology. Five... Calm yourself. Don't shine. talk to me like that. I just raised my no, voice no, no, once. No. I've just raised my voice at this point properly. Oh my god, I'm sick of it. Just stop talking to me. Because if you can't hear what I'm saying, what's the point? I feel bad for Taylor. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get some attention from somebody. Being in a house full of couples that's being affectionate with each other and loving towards one another is definitely affecting me. It's not something that I've experienced before. Somebody up there? No. I already can't walk. <laughs> I've been saying to Surin that I need love and affection and intimacy, but I, I haven't felt that from him. I asked you for affection. Where is the affection? Since we've been in the house, you haven't even pulled me to the side, give me a hug, give me a kiss, nothing. I can't be mad at anything. I can't have a feeling of, of feeling frustrated. I can't, I have to not constantly be happy. Yes, Surin, food for you. Yes, Surin, here for you. Yes, Surin, here. Everything is for you. Um, can I just sit you down and warn you about something? Yeah, sure. Chris, the shit stirrer that he is, dead Jake's ex pala to kiss me. Oh! I knew that I needed to go talk to Jake straight away because I, I knew that on some level that I'd fucked up. And basically, Paula was dead to kiss me. And so I, I let it happen because, like, the entire group was like pressuring us. Like, they were literally like, you know how it is. It's like fucking eighteen of us. Yeah. So I, I like, it was literally like a couple seconds. I just wanted to fucking warn you. I'm sorry, I didn't say no. It's just like when there's like literally. You should have said no. Okay. I was honestly feeling kind of rattled. Pal has been over the top friendly with the both of us, while there is a lot of uncleared business between us all. And this is this is the thing with us in the villa and me in the villa. Even though we feel like we need to act a certain way to be polite, sometimes it's about saying no. Yeah, I get that. That was a good opportunity that you could have said no. I know, I'm sorry, I felt pressured. Anybody else. I know. Anybody, anybody else. Anybody else in the villa. I know. And that's and why they put us in that situation. That's anybody why else said in that. the villa, and it would have been playful and cared. fun. Yeah. This house, man. I know. I know. It's a lot. It's a lot. I don't know why the vibe's so quiet in there now. Like, Wait. get over it, mate. What kind of kumbaya shit is going on in here? The situation between Layla, Liam, and Samora. This is so weird, I don't like it. Liam deserves better. He should be like, I'm not watching my girl be with another guy that she cheated on me with. This is Liam. <laughs> no, That's you his... got a tattoo. The last time me and Layla was physical, she did have the tattoo. <laughs> You've been meeting Samora behind my back. But instead, it's like, you might as well all be in a relationship together. Do you know what I mean? Why is everyone just all of a sudden gone all quiet? Everyone's Should just we just go and chill or something? <laughs> I keep getting people come up to me and be like, are you Samir and Liam like having a threesome? Like, you might as well just all be together. This is the thing that all three of us, we get on so well. Well, I reckon we should like 
entertain ourselves somehow. I'm so stuck in what way to go with Liam and Samir. It's literally a fucking love triangle for us, and I feel really confused. <laughs> 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 When we're home, he gives me a lot of attention. He, he's always on top of me. He's always like being affectionate with me. And up here in this villa, it's like I got to fight for you to give me that attention. Also, no, no. I wanted to tell you just something that I don't like. What? When you pet me. Oh. I'm trying to recognize the person that I fell in love with. And it's frustrating for me because not only you're not giving me no dick, you're not even giving me attention, no attention, no nothing. It's just I feel like, why am I here? And it feels like I'm, I'm embarrassed. I understand that she wants my love. I understand that she wants my affection. But right now, it's, it's tough because we've been through a lot of hurt and pain. You're not going to tell me what the fuck to do. I don't tell you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. You are. You're telling me to put my cup over there. Should I not get a thank you? Oh. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me here. Hey. If your woman makes you a plate of food, should you expect a thank you, yes or no? I need her to be patient with me and allow these feelings to just come back because they've slipped away. We should be showing, like, devotion to each other because that's what we came into the experience for. We came as a couple that wanted to get married and that's the goal for us. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong to you that is making you feel like you can't give me the attention that I need. In the beginning of the relationship, our sexual connection, it was amazing. And I even cried after sex and it was so passionate but now it's just not there. I'm sad, I'm sexually frustrated, I'm tired of fighting, I'm tired of crying. I wanna be loved. I wanna be appreciated, acknowledged. I want the old Seren back. And if that's not what I'm gonna get, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm fucking hurt. My heart is broken.